Hello dear students. Today we will be looking at function call within function in C programming. How we can call function within a function. To understand this topic you must know function concept, passing value to the function concept and returning value from a function concept. Then only you can get this. Now here to understand this function call within function I am considering this example calculating x raised to n divided by n factorial. Now what we want to do in this basically we want to learn function call within a function and for this we want to calculate x raised to n divided by n factorial. Now initially now for this we need value of x and n. So in main program we want to read value of x and n. This value we want to pass to the one function. Suppose the function name is calculate. So we want to pass this value of x and n to the function calculate. To this function now we want to call one function power which will calculate x raised to n. And this x raised to n we want value back to the calculate function that is power value. Then through this calculate function only I want to call one more function that is factorial which is used to calculate n factorial and this n factorial I want to give it back to this function calculate and in this function I want to calculate x raised to n divided by n factorial. This x raised to n I am taking from this power function n factorial I am getting from this factorial and then whatever answer that is x raised to n divided by n factorial this answer I want to return into the main program and in main program I want to print this value of answer. So from main program we are calling calculate from calculate we are calling power function and factorial function. So this is called as a function call within function. In main program we are inputting value of x and n. This value of x and n we are passing to the calculate. So now our calculate is having value of x and n from a main program. This value of x and n we are passing to the factorial to the power function. This value of x and n we are passing to the power function. In power function we are calculating x raised to n and that value we are returning here. So this power function it receives two values x and n and it returns one value that is of power calculating x raised to n. Similarly from, cal from calculate function again we want to calculate factorial function. So here for factorial we need value of n. So to this function we are passing only value of n. So this factorial function receives value of n and it returns n factorial. Okay. And then calculate function will calculate x raised to n divided by n factorial and it will return answer to the main program. So this is what we want to implement. Already we have learned how to calculate power and how to calculate factor or oh, you must know this. ये आपको आना चाहिए कि अगर x और n की वैल्यू हमें पता है तो हम लोग x रेस्ट टू n कैसे फाइंड आउट करें n की वैल्यू पता है तो n फैक्टोरियल कैसे फाइंड आउट करें दैट इज यूजिंग फॉर्मूल ये आपको पता होना चाहिए ठीक क्योंकि ये आपको पता है दिस वी यू नो कंसीडरिंग दिस आई हैव रिटर्न द नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो नाउ द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज टू कैलकुलेट पावर this function receives one value x and other value n. The power function is two value receive kar hai, 
value of x and value of n because we are calling this power from the calculate and we are passing value of x and n and this part calculates your power yaha comma hai yaha remember that this is the comma not semicolon we can write multiple expressions into the expression 1 and separated by comma so yaha hum log do value receive kar rahe hain value of x and value of n this part will calculate actually x raised to n and then we are returning value of p type of p is integer so here i have written int so this power function ye jo power function hai wo do value receive karega x aur n ki aur p ke value return karega p kya hai x raised to n similarly factorial function factorial function ek value receive karega n ki this will calculate x raised to n this part it will sorry this part sorry this will calculate n factorial okay and it returns value of factorial ye factorial jo hai wo ek value receive karega aur ek value return karega okay. now combine this two because we need this two in single program so this is a power which will calculate x raised to n which receives x and n and which returns x raised to n this n factorial this will receive value of n and it will return value of f so dono program ek hi dono function jo hai wo ek 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 ke niche ek hum log koi bhi jagah ye pehle likho ye dusra likho ya fir ye pehla likho ye dusra likho koi fark nahi padta kyunki hum log ek dusre se call nahi kar rahe ye alag alag hai iska aur iska koi relation nahi hai ye function aur ye function alag alag this two are totally different functions so you can write factorial first then power or you route right power first factorial it doesn't make any difference now this two functions we want to call from some other function because we want to learn function call within a function so to call to call this from other function we have to write this statement to calculate power and this statement to calculate factorial so when this statement is executed when this statement is executed it will go to execute power function it passes two values this value of x will be given to this and value of n will be given to n it will execute this and this value it will return this value to this p so when this statement is executed here jab statement execute hoga तो ये पावर फंक्शन एग्जीक्यूशन के लिए जाएगा ये पूरा प्रोग्राम कंप्लीट होगा और रिटर्न पी जो कि पी की वैल्यूज है वो यहां पी में आ जाएगा देन इट एग्जीक्यूट नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट फैक्टोरियल हम लोग एक ही वैल्यू पास कर रहे हैं सो दिस वैल्यू इज टेकन टू द एन तो जब ये स्टेटमेंट होगा यह फैक्टोरियल के लिए चला जाएगा यह एन की वैल्यू जो है वो इस एन को दी जाएगी यह पूरा प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूट हो जाएगा और रिटर्न एफ वो एफ की वैल्यू यहां एफ में आ जाएगी तो जो भी हम लोग फंक्शन लिखेंगे तो जब हम लोग कैलकुलेट फंक्शन लिख रहे हैं और कैलकुलेट से और पावर और फैक्टर में कॉल करना है तो ये ऐसा करना पड़ेगा ओके देन वी वांट टू कैलकुलेट नाउ दिस पी इज नथिंग बट एक्स रेस टू एन दिस एफ इज नथिंग बट एन फैक्टोरियल नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट एक्स रेस टू एन डिवाइड बाई एन फैक्टोरियल तो दैट स्टेटमेंट वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस पी इज योर एक्स रेस टू एन f is nothing but n factorial so to calculate this we have to declare float variable hame float declare karna padega ki hame division sign chahiye so this is nothing but x raised to n and f is nothing but n factorial both are integer ye dono integer hai so integer number divided by integer number your c compiler will always give you answer into the integer format to get a proper answer this p is first of all converted into the float this is called as a type casting so it is converted into float and then it is divided by ye aapko pata hona chahiye okay no and this answer we want to return to the main program so we have used statement return answer now how our function will look like apna function kaise dikhega fir ye aise dikhega because it is returning a value so that's why we have written here float function name is कैलकुलेट ये पार्ट अभी बाकी है तो हम लोग कंसिडर करेंगे फिर ये पूरा एग्जीक्यूट करेगा 
और जो भी रिटर्न आंसर है वो आप आंसर वैल्यू रिटर्न करें वी हैव टू एड करली ब्रैकेट दिस फंक्शन मस्ट बी प्रेजेंट विद इन करली ब्रैकेट अभी ये पार्ट अभी थोड़ा बाकी है ओके सो दिस इज फ्रॉम अ कैलकुलेट फंक्शन वी आर कॉलिंग पावर एंड वी आर कॉलिंग फैक्टोरियल सो फंक्शन कॉल विद इन अ फंक्शन Now this function we cannot execute directly, so we have to write a main program. And our actual concept is, in a main program we want to read value of x and n, and using function we want to calculate x raised to n divided by n factor. So now we will move to the main program. In main program we want to read value of x and n. Okay, that is our starting point. That, जैसे हम जहां से हमने स्टार्ट किया था हम लोग हमने हमने क्या कंसिडर किया था मेन प्रोग्राम में हम लोग रीड करेंगे वैल्यू एक्स और एन की वो हम लोग पास करेंगे कैलकुलेट में कैलकुलेट से हम लोग पावर कॉल करेंगे कैलकुलेट से हम लोग फैक्टोरियल कॉल करेंगे फिर यहाँ आंसर कैलकुलेट करेंगे और वो आंसर सिर्फ मेन प्रोग्राम में भेज दिया जाएगा सो so, ये जो है वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एन एन इट इज टेकन इन द मेन प्रोग्राम so now in short it will look like this this is the function part and this is the main program so in main program we have inputted value for x and n and here in calculate this power function factorial function and this calculate function for all the things we have calculated x raised to n divided by n factorial into this answer and we are returning answer now through the main program we have to call calculate abhi hum logon ko main program se wo calculate function call karna padega uske liye hame ye statement add karni padegi to the calculate we have to pass value of x and n jo ye calculate receive karega yahan theek hai और जो भी वैल्यू कैलकुलेट से वापस आएगी वो आंसर में आएगी जो यहां रिटर्न कर रहा है इस प्रोग्राम में ये जो रिटर्न कर रहा है वैल्यू वो रिटर्न वैल्यू आएगी यहां ओके दिस इज इन मेन प्रोग्राम सो वी हैव टू पास वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एन एन एंड दैट वैल्यू वी हैव टू रिसीव हियर ओके सो दिस इज अवर नाउ मेन प्रोग्राम वी आर taking value of x and n from keyboard then we are calling calculate function and whatever answer from the calculate we are printing this over here now we are passing two values this we have to modify in a calculate like this yeah. so now how we now how will it execute if you write this program continuously means after this we have to write this part okay this is the continuously part So this is the continuation part. So hash include st divided by h. This power function will calculate x raised to n. It receives value of x and n. It will calculate x raised to n. Factorial part. It receives value of n. It will calculate n factorial. In main program, it receives value of x and n. It will calculate x raised to n divided by n factorial, and it will return that value. Now in the main program, if you execute this program, compiler always starts from a main program. So it will declare this variable x and n. It will declare answer. This will clear screen. Now remember this, my dear student. We have used clear screen and get ch, but we have not added here con io dot h because save this program as suppose function one dot c. If you save this program as a dot c, program of clear screen and get ch. it is taken from std outreach we don't have to add console input output dot header file remember this so we have to save this program as a dot c so this reads value of x and n x or n ki value read karegi and when this statement is executed it will go to execute your calculate function then from calculate function it will go to execute your power function it will complete the power function and this value of p will be given back here okay then factorial it will go to execute your factorial and this value of f will be given to this again okay then it will calculate answer 
and return answer it will come back to the calling program and this value is given back to the answer and this will print your answer and it's so this is called as a function call within a function from a main program we are calling calculate from calculate we are calling power and function when this function ends they will come back to the calculate and when calculate ends it will come back to the main program so this is called as a function call within a function so you have understand this concept function call within function with this program that is read value for x and n in a main program calculate x raised to n divided by n factorial using function call within function and print the result in main program create separate function to calculate x raised to n create separate function to calculate factorial this is how the question may be that is function call within function so you have understood this concept function call within function if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel if you like this video please click on like button and click on bell icon